everyone in the last video we had seen what are neurons and how they function we have also seen two different types of neurons that is sensory neurons and motor neurons and at last we concluded that brain is the decision maker of most of our actions we also have arised a question that there are some actions which do not involve brain so in this lecture we are going to see what are the actions which we were talking of how we react to them and what are they specifically called now when we start this topic i want to ask you a simple question what is the first thing you do when you touch a hot object yes as soon as we touch a hot object we withdraw our hand and now this action is called as reflex action so why we are talking of this reflex action this reflex action is important because we cannot depend on brain every time to make a decision we know that brain makes a decision in a very complex way like it have to analyze the different signals which we have sent through the receptors we know that several tissues are working together and sending information to the brain which the brain analyzes and sends it to different part of the body now if i touch a hot object and wait my brain to make a decision till that time it would be late i would have hurt myself so the question arises if the brain is not involved what happens here so the answer to this question is reflex arc you must be thinking what is reflex arc so to answer your question let's see this simple diagram now you can see that the stimulus is in the form of heat we have seen in the early example what if you touch an hot object you immediately withdraw your hand from there so the stimulus is the heat as soon as you realize that you have touched an hot object this stimulus through the receptor is transferred from sensory neurons to the spinal cord now this spinal cord is the place where the motor neurons and the sensory neurons are connected directly now the signal from the spinal cord to remove your hand or to withdraw your hand travels from motor neurons to the effector organs and you remove your hand from the hot object so this is the reflex action the withdrawal of hand as soon as you touch your hot object and the pathway followed by the reflex action is called as reflex arc so we have seen that the reflex arc involves the motor neurons and the sensory neurons which are directly connected at the spinal cord these signals also reach to the brain but a little late so we can conclude that the neuron system is complex and efficient but the reflex arc is needed for the quick responses in the later video we will see the human brain and how it functions for the control and coordination of an human body see you in the next video